What up, Spam Fam? Energetic. <laughs> Welcome. Today we are kicking off with Create Contrast. Think of a pair of opposites. Present them together on this page, for example, good, bad, light, dark, blah, blah. I did like an angel devil thing, I believe, for the last one. Yeah, it flipped open. I did two pages, basically. And I believe it was my evil avatar. I can't recall whether she existed yet or not. <laughs> but I'm doing something somewhat similar. But first, we need to address this pencil. So I'm going to be drawing in this yellow mechanical pencil. Because I'm thinking... It might help with the whole lines situation, like the lead lines that I normally leave. But I'm going to try it. I haven't drawn it. I haven't used it yet. So bear with me. <laughs> like you might not be able to see much. You can barely see what I'm drawing. Can you make it out? <laughs> it's a splotch of yellow. <laughs> it's okay. You'll get it in a second. It's weird drawing in a different colour. But you can see it a little bit more there now. And we have put crayon there. So the idea is I've gone for the whole good, bad, light, dark thing, but I am using my avatars to represent that because of we have Spam, who is around for the majority of the year, who is good, fun, jolly. She gets a little annoyed at me sometimes, <laughs> and I don't blame her. And then I have my evil avatar, who comes out at Halloween, who is just downright mean. So I'm going for that contrast. I figured this was a nice way as well to... work on the hair it's such a big part of the channel because obviously it's pink but there's actually there's no green in this I don't think because they're actually they're naked they're naked underneath but I really wanted to work on shading the hair creating sort of a movement type thing but I'm not loving the yellow pencil with the pink it's giving it like an orangey tint but I guess it's better than the dirty that the lead leaves so we've done the pink now and we are now moving on to the evil side. Which, she has red hair, if you haven't been around. She has red hair and a very evil, demonic look. <laughs> I struggled with her expression. 
I originally gave her like an angry face. And then I went for this like grumpy look and I, did, I just I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure out how to put her mouth. <laughs> so we ended up with that face, which I'm not happy about. But she's still technically dormant. She's not in full rage mode. <laughs> and I put Cray hiding under Spam's hair because he's afraid of evil Spam. He doesn't want to wake her up. She scares him. Now, I'm not actually going to colour the skin tone on these ones. I wanted the contrast to be the pink and the red. I didn't want the skin tone to be a factor in this, so they do stay white. I'm not colouring those. And it makes Cray less, like, ugh, obvious. I did the background night, evening type sky, which I actually do love. And I really like this piece. But we have evil spam, good spam, light dark. And then we have little cray hiding. <laughs> I really like this. I think I definitely made the right choice in leaving the skin tone. It irritates me slightly because it feels incomplete. But I like Evil Spam's eyes so much. Like, they usually, I think last time I made her, she had blood coming out of her eyes. But it makes her look a little bit more demonic with the black gradient coming out. Let me know what you think down below. And we're going to move on. We're going to create a page of emotions. And I keep comparing this to the last book because I'm in competition with myself. <laughs> so I last time I did this, I did my avatar sat in a room and it was full of like faces, masks that we wear. And I'm going to do like a similar thing-ish. If you're wondering what this thing is, it's watercolour. And it's insane. I got this was my first scroller box, I think. Like way, way, way back when. And I don't remember it being that sort of, like, vibrant. <laughs> Apart from that black. That's meant to be black, but something happened there. But <laughs> you can't see the difference because my camera doesn't like blue and purple. But one of those is purple. <laughs> Okay, so while that's drying, we're going to create the emotion side. And we're going to give Cray some emotions. Now, Cray is emotionless, expression-wise. He can express it in his body language. However, I think we need to teach him how to express, express facially. So I've created him some masks here. Let's get him out of the way for a second. Can't royal ruin the surprise for him, can we? So the idea is they're going to be masks that Craig can put on so that he can practice. I 
have a list of emotions. Okay, so I've drawn them. Now, these are going to be pretty simple to colour and shade because obviously we need them to match Cray, and Cray is just white. So we're just going to do some simple shading throughout them all, and obviously Cray himself. I want to make them look like they're curved. That's my goal. I don't know whether I'm going to achieve that, but <laughs> that's my mission. <laughs> I can say now that we have taught Cray emotions. We've taught we've taught a stick man some emotions. Okay, this is dry now, so I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm going to put some. I saw this nice background, and I'm trying to not replicate it, but the design of it, the the medium. I don't know how to express it. <laughs> so each of these colours in the background represent one of the emotions. For some bizarre reason, one of these paints just keeps getting on my fingers. But we have our emotions here. So how disgust. Jealousy. Type situation. Um, I have put slits in this. You, you cannot see them. We're just going to put the face there. This is tired. It looks weird cray having a face <laughs> this one anxious nervous <laughs> I believe was that color that's what I was trying to figure out Then we have confident, sincere, happy, whatever you want to call it, which is that one. I looked these colours up online and I just it just doesn't make sense to me, but fear. Shock horror. Then we have anger, rage. We see the red one. Well, oh, we got two emotions left. Embarrassed. And then we have sad. Oh, sad cray. 
He doesn't like feeling all those emotions in like a minute. <laughs> but sad is obviously black grief, which I thought would be blue, but whatever. But yes. Let me know what you think of Cray's emotions, how well he learnt them. We'll see. Let me know what you think about this overall page. I thought because he's obviously just white and plain and the faces would have been that, I needed to add some colour in the background. That was my mission, but I don't know how well they go together. But yeah, as you can see, this one here, for some bizarre reason, it's the only one. It's staining my hands and my desk. <laughs> Does that make any sense? No. But there you go. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think down below. Me and my purple pinky fingers. I gotta say, this book's filling out nicely, and I'm loving Cray. Try not to put my purple fingers everywhere. <laughs> I love this one, I think. I think. I'm unsure on this one, it doesn't seem very cohesive, but on its own. Once it's explained, I think it's fine. <laughs> but let me know what you think down below. While you're there, please do hit that like button. And of course, if you could hit... <laughs> it's always upside down. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you could click, click that share button as well. Just copy the link. You don't actually have to share it. And I will catch you in the next one.